Plan for customer variation. I've been doing a ton of research on the insurance industry and wow, does this industry have a ton of great work to do, but the opportunity is there to improve customer experience. And so I came across this study from JD Power and JD Power in 2017 conducted a CSAT study for PNC insurance. And what they found was that the companies that were the leaders in this study simply communicated better than the laggards of the study. And one interesting thing that they found was that the lowest customer satisfaction occurred in Florida and Texas. What happened in Florida and Texas last year? horrible hurricanes. Hurricane Harvey was the most expensive disaster in hurricane history, costing $100 billion. And most of these customers were not insured against flood. And so you had a lot of very unhappy customers because when this happened, the insurance companies were, of course, hit with very high volumes of customer inquiries, filing claims, and they could not deal with the sheer volume of customer contacts. So they outsourced a lot of this customer work. And those customers were very unhappy because of course it took a hit on the communication with the customer, the process, the timing of the claim. And so this study from JD Power reminds us that in times of disaster, when it comes to insurance and weather, unfortunately this is going to be part of the new normal. We need to plan for disasters, plan for variation. And I think that's where we see the most unhappy customers when there's variation of circumstance and the company just has not planned for this variation and they can't handle it. The employee is not empowered to help the customer uh, when something different comes up that's not on the script or in traditional protocol. So think about disaster planning. Think about what you'll do if variation happens because there's nothing we hate more as a customer than hearing that message on your IVR. Sorry, due to higher call volume, wait times will be increased. To me, that means, sorry, we didn't staff accordingly and you're just not worth the investment. We didn't hire enough people. Sorry, I can't stand that message when I hear it. Would love to hear from you, your thoughts on the hurricane season, how insurance handled it, and what we can do better next time for disaster planning. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.